Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Baha Shum, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing of the hopeful elect. Shalom. Now, a brother came on one of the comment boards of my videos and was asking me a question about the Pasak. How can he keep it? Which I believe this is a newer brother. Okay. And I told the brother I'll put up some of the videos by the apostles. All right. Now, what I'm going to do right here, I'm just going to merge this video that I'm doing right here, or this introduction, should I say, to one of the videos the Elder Pastor Ariam that I put up about three or four years ago. You know, and he put it up for newer brothers, showing you how you can keep the Pasak, how you can rehearse it. Because remember, we're rehearsing the righteous acts, all right? And I believe he did that specifically for brothers that are not in camps all right because dealing with the basak that's really something that you can fully keep if you're around a group of brothers okay as far as the ceremonial aspect the sabbath service you do that as a unit you do that with a body of men but for brothers that are by themselves he put up a video to show you how you can keep it to the best of your ability until you can link up with other brothers, all right? So, you know, for that brother to ask me that question, I'm going to merge this video right here with the video that that the uh, Elder Apostle Ariamlab did, and Lord willing, it's edifying, you know, because the Apostle, he hit straight to the point, man. So, you know, watch this vid, and you'll get the point, bro, and for you other Akim as well. Shalom. Barakat um, this lesson is basically based uh, around um, giving you like some understanding on the Passover and how to keep it. You know, um, Pastor Tar just called me um, said there was his brother on the common board, you know, asking the question about the Passover. So I just, you know, he asked me to do a little something, you know, to uh, give ed edification to that brother. And, uh, you know, any other new brothers that's just uh, waking up, learning about the truth and uh, knowing that the Passover is going to come uh, around in this time. And, you know, and I know I know when you first start learning, you know, you want to you want to keep, you know, the Passover because uh, I just want to uh, read this scripture real quick. And um, then we, we'll, we'll uh, get started because, you know, you, you're starting to learn your heritage. So you want to do uh, the things that the Lord had commanded us to do. You know, and, and there were certain times where where the Passover was lost. You know, and all the all the feasts and the uh, um, laws, statutes, and commandments. And then during the time of Josiah, when they read the books, they found the books and read them. Then they they rejoiced greatly. You know, because the Passover was set back up. You know, which was uh, taken away for for a period of time. So this is Judges five and eleven. It says, they that are delivered from the noise of arches in the places of drawn water. This is dealing with the deliverance here in America. All right. The noise of the arches are the missiles. Uh, the place of drawn water. Drawn water represents slavery. So here in the land of our captivity, the place is going to be destroyed. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Yahweh. So we're rehearsing the righteous acts because, you know, we're, we're pretty much, we're not doing the, uh, uh, keeping the Passover 100%. According to the scripture, because we don't have the power to do that, you know. According to the according to the Bible, you're supposed to raise up a lamb, a male, uh, uh, of of one year old, without blemish, without spot. You know, you're supposed to rate, you know, keep, you know, take it in from the tenth day, hold it all the way to the fourteenth day. Then you would uh, uh, kill it, you know, strike the uh, lintel, uh, the post, you know, of your door. With, with the blood, you know, and then prepare it, pre prepare it and, and cook it, you know, so we don't, we don't have, we don't have farms, you know, we don't have the means to do all of that, you know, so we're just pretty much rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, keeping it to the best of our ability, you know, uh, it says, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel, then shall the people of Yahweh go down to the gates, okay, now the, the Passover comes in uh, Tuesday, March 22nd at evening all the way through March 29th at evening which is a seven day period you know and that's you're supposed to keep the Passover for seven days that's when it comes in okay 
Um, the the uh, the brother said, "Thanks for the info. This is real Israelites. Thanks for the info. The Passover falls on the first day of spring, I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong. How can we tell when the first day of spring comes in? I want to learn how to tell these things so in the future I can do and prepare my own Passover. Please reply and thanks for all you do. I'm in England, so I'm far away from you, brothers in America." And Apostle Tara said the Passover comes in the fourth day at evening. The spring is 14 days before it, Exodus 12. You know, now if you read Exodus 12 and, Le and Leviticus 23, Exodus 12 is pretty much the Passover, you know, and everything that took place and, you know, the, the story and the history of, of, of what, it what took place. Now the Passover, we keep it because during that night, uh, Yahweh Shai passed over all the uh, uh, doors that had blood the, Where the Israelites were at He passed over them Didn't touch them But he, he killed all the firstborn of the Egyptian The firstborn males of all the Egyptians You know But the Israelites he didn't He passed over them You know Now We we have You know We have videos out You know Where we actually show you how to do the Passover service You know But that's something that we do For you uh, New brothers just coming in Basically, what you should do is just, you know, you, you know the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is the Most High in the name of His Son. Um, you know, you pray in those names, set some prayers up. You know, uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to get rid of all the leaven out of your house. You know, anything like pancakes, cookies, bread, you know, stuff like that. Anything that has leaven in it. Uh, there's certain seasonings that may have leaven in it. You know, shake and bake, whatever you got that has leaven in it. You got to get it out the house for seven days. After that, you can bring it back, but you have to get rid of it for seven days. You know, um, what you would do is you would, you know, get some lamb chops. You know, uh, the best place to cook them is in the oven. You know, some lamb chops, some some wine, whatever you know, kind of wine you know you you, you like, um, some bitter herbs. Which, if you go to a uh, like place like Stop and Shop or or Shop Right, you know, Stop and Shop is or uh, 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 more. They 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 usually have it more. They they have um certain sh uh, sh uh shopping uh spots. They have or supermarkets. They have uh what's called uh, um horseradish root. Which is the root of, you know, the root of it. So that horseradish root, you know, you take that and what you would do is you would you would peel the the, uh, the skin off of it and then cut it into little chunks and then you would eat that. And what, what it, when you eat it, what you're going to feel is you're going to feel a burning sensation out in your mouth and your nose, you know, your eyes are going to tear up. And what that represents was that hard bondage that we, that we went through in Egypt. Which, which the Lord, when you read the scriptures, the Lord calls it the furnace of affliction. Okay? So that's that's what that represents. You know, so you would have the wine, you would have the bitter herbs, and then you would have unleavened bread. You know, which we usually get tortillas. But when you get those tortillas, just make sure that they don't have leaven in them. Because some, they make with leaven. So just make sure that when you read the package, make sure there's no leaven in it. That's what we usually eat. Which, that's the flat bread or the, uh, the uh, unleavened bread. You know, because when we were in Egypt, when we left out of Egypt, that's when you read the book of Exodus, the 12th chapter, you know, it, it gives you everything you need to know. But when we left out of Egypt, really, there was no time for the women to put, you know, put the uh, leaven in the in the in the cakes because it was it was a, a thing that was done in haste. It was done fast, quick, you know. So it's not a lamb dinner, you know, it's not like you go to a restaurant, you know, and you and you sit down with, your, you know, with your napkin and, you know, and, and you know, you just parlay. And it was something that was done quickly, you know, because we had to get out of it that same night when you read this, when you read the story. So pretty much, you know, I mean, you can uh, watch the videos, you know, that we've done on the uh, Passover service. Uh, we, ha we actually have uh, um, um, the Passover service online. That, that the brothers have, you know, but um, the main thing right now, you know, what, what, what you should do for you new new brothers that are just coming in, just set up a prayer to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh to help you keep the Passover uh, correctly, you know, to the best of your ability, you know, bless the, bless the wine, bless the, uh, uh, the, uh, the lamb, you know, bless the bitter herbs, bless the, the uh, unleavened bread, you know, and uh, just eat it like that for now, and eventually, 
as you continue to grow in this thing, like the scriptures say, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. As you as you continue to grow, you'll learn how to do the service and, and you know, and, and, and so on and so forth. You know, then you'll have more brothers that help that'll help you keep the service, you know. So for now, just do it like that. Um, like I said, you read Exodus 12, right? This gives it gives you uh, um, what happened that night and the things that, that we were supposed to do. In the preparation and in the in the process of eating the Passover. So this is Exodus 12 and 5. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. You shall take it out, out from the sheep or the or from the goats. You could eat either sheep or goat if you want. You know, we prefer the sheep, the lamb, because, you know, Yahweh Shai is represented by the lamb. So that's the re reason why we eat the lamb. It says, and you shall keep it until the 14th day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. It's because the Passover starts at the evening of the 14th day, which is the beginning of the 15th day. Because remember, the, the, the scriptures say that in the evening and the morning were the first day. So uh, a day begins in the evening. Once the evening comes in, that's, that's the uh, uh, beginning of the new day. It says, um, And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the house houses wherein they shall eat it. And and when you put that that blood of the, of the lamb on the doors, that protected you from 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 the destroyer coming into your house and killing your firstborn. You know, so now the Passover we keep the blood of Yahweh Shai is what uh, protects us from from the destroyer from being destroyed. You know. It says, and they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. See, so you have to have your lamb, your unleavened bread, and your bitter herbs. Okay, eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire, his head with his legs, and with the pertinence there, which we can't do that now because we don't have that, that means. So what we do is we just buy some lamb chops, you know, throw them in the oven, cook them, you know, and then when, when they're done, you know, you use that. With the bitter herbs and the unleavened bread in, in, in the wine and you eat it. You eat it together. It says, and you shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. Now, whatever you don't eat that night, you got to throw it out. I mean, technically, you're supposed to burn it. But, you know, we like I said, you know, you start going out there late at night. You know, after you, you keep the Passover and you start burning stuff up, people are going to call the cops, you know. So you just, just uh, toss it out. It says, and you shall let none of it remain until the morning, and, and that which remaineth of it until the morning you shall burn with fire. And thus shall you eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. Why? Because we had to leave Egypt that night. That's why everything was done hasty, quick, quickly. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgment. I am the Lord, Yahweh. Yeah, so like the scriptures say, you know, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. So when it, when the time comes and you continue to learn, you'll know, you know, how how to better keep the Passover, you know. So, so don't, you know, don't worry about trying to get it correct right now because you're just coming into this thing. And the Passover is about 11 days away. So there's no way you can prepare, you know, to do, to do the service. So just set the prayers up in the name of Yahweh Bashem Shai. You know, eat the lamb, eat the bitter herbs, eat the uh, unleavened bread, drink the wine, you know, and bless it, everything in the name of Yahweh Bashem Shai. You know, Leviticus 23 and 4, these are the feasts of the Lord, Yahweh, even holy convocations which you shall proclaim in their seasons. And the 14th day of the first month at evening is, uh, is Yahweh's Passover. And on the 15th day of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread, which the Feast of Unleavened Bread and the Passover pretty much are the same same uh, uh, feast because during the, the night, night of the Passover, you don't eat unleavened bread. So it's pretty much all the same thing. But the one night is the Passover when, when Yahweh Shai passed through, the destroyer passed through to destroy the firstborn of, of, eat of the Egyptians. And then the last night was also like a holy convocation or, or you know, a, a high day where you, where you wouldn't work. You know, but, but it was all pretty much the whole week is a feast of, of unleavened bread. Unto Yahweh, seven days you must eat unleavened bread. That's where you got the 22nd at evening to the 29th at evening, which is seven days. And the first day you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no servile work therein. So if you can, if you don't have to work, then don't work. But if you if it's like this is during the week, so you can't help but work, 
you know, because you, you got you to gotta get paid, you know, otherwise you may get fired. But if you can get that day off, by all means, you know, but if not, you know, you just keep it and you, just, you may have to just work the next day. You got to do what you got to do. It says, but, you know, because we're rehearsing the righteous acts. But you shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahweh seven days. And the seventh day is in holy convocation. You shall do no serve our work therein. All right. So that's pretty much it. So just remember, you know, get the lamb, lamb chops, get the unleavened bread, tortillas, you know, check, make sure they don't have any leaven. Get your bitter herbs, the horseradish from ShopRite, you know, or at whatever store that, that you have that you can get it from. You know, make sure you peel the, the skin off of the uh bitter herbs and cut it into small chunks you know manageable size that you can chew on and uh just do that you know and uh, uh bless everything in the name of Yahweh and that's pretty much it you know uh that's pretty much the passover so that's why we keep it like that today like i said we do a service with it but uh the service part is going to take a little bit of time for you to learn you know, so for now, just keep learning, keep uh, studying, uh, keep learning the scriptures, you know, keep learning the breakdowns and, and the spiritual aspects of the scriptures. And eventually everything else that you're lacking in, you pray to Yahweh about Shemiah Shai, as it says in the book of James, and the Lord will increase you in due time, you know, and the Lord will exalt you in due time. All right. So with that, you know, I hope your brothers learned something. Hope you are edified. Um, hope your brothers uh, uh, keep the Passover to the best of your ability. And with that, I say Shalom.